Midnight Melody. The clock hit midnight, and an uncomfortable quiet took over Rebecca's new home, a Victorian manor at the edge of town. Rain hammered on the windows, and a bone-chilling cold filled the air. The old house creaked and groaned around her, making the silence seem even louder. Rebecca had recently moved into this grand but eerie mansion because of one unique feature, an old piano in a dimly lit music room. A well-known pianist, she was intrigued by mysteries. As time passed, she sat down at the piano bench with excitement tingling in her fingers, ready to break the silence with music. The first few notes sounded strange but also deeply sad. Each note echoed through the room like footsteps in an empty forest. Her passionate playing seemed to awaken something within the house. Then it happened. A discordant note broke her melody like glass underfoot. It felt as though bony fingers had touched the keys beside hers. Startled, Rebecca glanced around but found herself alone in the room. She dismissed it as nerves and continued to play. The room became even colder as shadows danced along the walls like ghostly ballerinas, and a heavy feeling hung in the air. The music surrounded her as her fingers moved across the keys in a trance-like rhythm. Suddenly, an eerie voice whispered, Rebecca. Her heart pounded as it said, Rebecca, play for us. The voice was mesmerizing and terrifying. As she played, time seemed irrelevant. Her heartbeat matched her music and ghostly figures danced around her. In the piano's polished surface, she saw a terrifying reflection. A woman's face twisted with pain, her eyes full of despair. Rebecca gasped, but there was no reaction from the woman. The apparition's screams blended with Rebecca's music, creating a distressing symphony of pain. Tears filled Rebecca's eyes. Suddenly, the room fell dark. The piano went silent. A chill permeated the warm air. Rebecca shivered, her heart pounding against her chest. She reached for her phone, but its light barely cut through the murk. As she tried to open the door, a chilling whisper spoke. Rebecca, you played beautifully before turning into a haunting laugh. But now it's your turn to join us. Rebecca shivered as a cold grip seized her shoulder, yanking her toward an uncertain future. The mansion lay quiet, save for the soft strains of piano music threading through the air at midnight. She had become the latest victim of the Midnight Caller, a prisoner within the mansion's walls forever. The previously silent corridors now reverberated with sorrowful tunes played by their newest eternal inhabitant, Rebecca, the young woman who yearned for intrigue but found herself trapped in a cruel twist of fate. Teddy Terror, Whimsical Wonders, a simple toy shop sat in the heart of a quaint village. Unknown to the townsfolk, it held a secret, a curse hidden within an ordinary teddy bear. Amelia, known for her bravery and curiosity about the supernatural, couldn't resist investigating when she heard the rumors about the shop. Whimsical Wonders was more than just a store. It was filled with oddities that seemed almost magical. Dolls blinked when no one watched them and wind-up toys moved on their own. Despite feeling uneasy, Amelia focused on an old teddy bear that had caught her attention. Its button eyes and stitched smile gave off a dark vibe. Holding it sent chills down her spine as if a curse had wrapped around her. The evil toy invaded Amelia's dreams, whispering cryptic messages that frightened her. The image of its stitched smile haunted her waking hours. Amelia's research into the shop's history uncovered stories of hexes linked to an angry toy maker who had supposedly inhabited the teddy bear seeking revenge for some betrayal. As she learned more about the bear, Amelia's life became increasingly terrifying. The toy shop turned into a haunted house filled with living toys and ghostly figures. The spirit inside the teddy bear wanted to use Amelia as another toy, intending to transfer its curse onto her so that she would carry its evil spirit. Each night, she felt the toy's influence grow stronger until it threatened to consume her completely. In a showdown at Whimsical Wonders, Amelia confronted the cursed bear in a fight for survival against this plush terror. But it wasn't just the teddy bear that was corrupt. Whimsical Wonders was the source of the evil. Amelia was trapped in a terrifying situation, the target of an entity that thrived on creating fear. Its laughter echoed in the space around her. Every cruel chuckle chipped away at her spirit, gradually turning her into another grotesque trophy for its perverse collection. Her screams echoed through the shop as she became another ghost trapped within whimsical wonders. The fiend continued to entice innocent victims, gaining power from each new soul it consumed, 
while Amelia's spirit remained imprisoned in whimsical wonders forever. Broken threads. In a cluttered antique shop, a creepy puppet was tucked away in the dark. The shopkeeper kept a close eye on it, aware of its dangerous allure. Its porcelain face held an unsettling smile and its empty eyes held a menacing intent. This puppet had a reputation among the items in the shop. Nina wasn't just interested in art. She loved finding unusual objects. Nina was an art historian with a knack for discovering hidden gems in forgotten places. Stories of strange happenings and mysterious tales connected to this puppet had caught her attention. Even though she felt uneasy, her academic curiosity pushed her to investigate further, determined to uncover the puppet's disturbing history. Nina examined the puppet's wooden body, attempting to decipher a secret message hidden within its rough texture. As she reached out, a sudden gust of wind caused her heart to skip a beat. Dismissing it as just another oddity of the old store, she continued her investigation. As Nina delved deeper into the mystery surrounding this puppet, she unknowingly set out on an adventure that would lead to a shocking discovery. Her research revealed that this wasn't just any puppet, but one possessed by an ancient spirit known for causing trouble whenever it was disturbed. With this terrifying revelation revealed, Nina realized that her curiosity had endangered her. Despite feeling watched by the puppet, she decided to buy it. Once back at her apartment, the puppet appeared almost lifelike. It moved smoothly on its strings, creating an unsettling rhythm that gave Nina goosebumps. Over time, the marionette appeared in Nina's dreams without end. Its ceramic face whispered confusing chants and showed glimpses of old rituals. Both fascinated and frightened, Nina started researching the puppet's origins. She found a hidden document about a cursed puppet maker who had put his suffering soul into the marionette. It became more and more apparent that the puppet was attempting to dominate her, just as its maker would have. Her days were filled with constant manipulation and turmoil. She found herself in a terrifying face-off with the marionette. It was a test of strength and a literal fight for survival. With unexpected bravery, Nina bested the dangerous toy, breaking its strings and freeing herself from its influence. But when the curse broke, Nina was terrified to unearth the alarming truth that she was now connected to the cursed object. Its evil spirit had attached itself to her soul. In an unfortunate turn of events, Nina was destined to protect people from this cursed item, the responsibility now solely hers. As she took the puppet back to the antique shop, she wondered how many people it had affected before her. As the sole protector of a dark and damning secret, Nina was burdened with carrying a dark truth that would haunt her until her dying breath. Filled with an unrelenting fear and dread, she had no choice but to wait as the malevolent marionette lurked in the shadows, seeking out its next unsuspecting prey. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.